Hi kids, today we're going to read Tremendous Tractors. Hey, before we get started, I want to tell you a real quick little story. I was traveling this past week and I stopped at a Cracker Barrel to have some breakfast late in the day. And the waitress that brought me my pancakes was named Katie. She said she had a little boy named Bentley who just loved tractors. So I thought I'd read this tractor story for Bentley today. So Bentley, I hope you like it. Tremendous Tractors, Tony Mitten and Aunt Parker. Tremendous, chuggy tractors, so sturdy, so strong, hitching up to farm machines and pulling them along. Put, put. Their big black tires have solid treads that help them not to slip. These chunky treads can chew the ground and get the wheels to grip. A tractor works on farmland, so its body must be tough. It sits high up above the ground, for farmland can be rough. To grow their crops, the farmers have to start by sowing seed. But first, to break the ground up, a plow is what they need. A tractor pulls the plow across the field up and down. The plow blades cut the soil into furrows rich and brown. Lunch! Mmm, yum, yum. <laughs> Crumble crunch. The tractor hauls the harrow next to break the soil some more. Disc harrows crush the clods up. That's what a harrow's for. Rimble rumble. It's time to use the roller now, a tube that rolls around for flattening the field, pushing stones beneath the ground. The seed drill has a hopper, a seed box that you fill. When it's time for planting, the tractor pulls the drill. The seed drill makes a row of grooves in which the seeds can drop. The spikes then rake a covering of soil across the top. Chop, chop, chop. When a hay crop's fully grown, the mower comes and mows. It cuts the grass and leaves it out to dry in tidy rows. Plunk plop. Later on, a baler scoops the stalks up from the ground and shapes them into bales, which are bundles, square or round. A bale of hay is heavy, so it's very hard to lift. A bale fork on a tractor makes it easier to shift. Swish, swish, whoosh. If the crop's a grain crop, when harvest time is here, a great big combine does the job and gets the whole crop clear. It cuts the stalks and threshes them to knock the grain all out, then spreads the straw behind it and the grain spills from the spout. A tractor with a trailer shifts bales of straw or hay takes food to hungry animals, or carries crops away. The tractor and the farmer work hard and do their best. So when the day is over, they both deserve a rest. And here's some of the tractor parts. The tire, this has chunky treads to help the wheel grip the bumpy or slippery ground. A seed drill. This scratches small grooves in the ground for planting seeds. A hopper. This holds the seeds and blows them out through a row of tubes. The spikes. These move through the ground to cover the seed after they drop. A bale fork. This is for lifting bales of hay or straw and moving them around. 
and a blade, a plow has sharp blades or shares to cut into the ground and turn over the soil. Well, Bentley and everybody else listening, I sure hope you like that story. Remember, I love you guys. And as Tigger says, ta-ta for now. Bye-bye.